Welcome back, beautiful people, to another video. I'm Noah Townsend with the Group Real Estate here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And today, we're gonna be going over my top seven picks for restaurants around the Steamboat Resort area. With these seven restaurants that I'm gonna be telling you about today, do not take my word as far as these being in any particular order i'm just going to tell you seven places that i love coming here doesn't mean one is better than the other or vice versa so please be aware of that but number one on my list right here is truffle pig this place is absolutely awesome meals are a little bit more expensive you're definitely going to be paying a hundred bucks and more uh, for maybe even two people to come here, have a meal, glass of wine, beers, and let's get on to our next spot here at the base area. But you take me all the way, you take me all the way. Sorry, I just had to do some singing. Number two on my list is gonna be the range food hall. This place has so many options and definitely very good food for the price. Now let's get on to number three. Third up on my list is going to be Timber and Torch, which is located right behind me here. This is a great place to hang out, watch the action, especially if there are concerts going on right here or any of the events, especially in the spring with Springalicious going on right here. You can see all the action from right here. Ample seating outside along with they do have fireplaces running in the winter inside there's a bunch of seating as well i'm not sure the actual number of how many people it sits so don't quote me but 100 something like that maybe 20 25 people at the bar something like that don't quote me but come here and check it out for yourself that's all i have to say there but Number three on the list, let's get over to number four, which is gonna be Slopeside. Now, up here behind me, this is Slopeside. This is gonna be number four on my list. And while I won't add it because it's not a full around, like this restaurant isn't open year round, but up a ways back here behind me is a dive bar called T-Bar, which is absolutely Awesome, it's definitely a huge place where all the locals go grab a drink after skiing. We'll call it the locals watering hole, which is pretty fitting <laughs> because you'll hear of some wild stuff going on there, I'm sure. But they do have amazing food in the winter that I don't think they actually get credit for because typically most people just go there to grab a beer, drink a little bit after skiing, and then of course, on from there, enjoy their night. Getting into number five on my list. Right here we have Los Locos, which is an amazing Mexican restaurant with tacos, quesadillas, burritos. I mean, really everything that you're gonna want. Also, they have amazing drinks, great happy hour in the winter. And real quickly, moving on to number six on my list is going to be Paramount. Uh, this place has amazing, amazing portion sizes for the price. I know you'll come in here, you'll think things are expensive, and then you'll get one of the biggest sandwiches, be it breakfast or lunch, that you've ever had in your life. And you can really justify coming here and spending the money for something like that, given the portion sizes. And I'm not meaning to just walk down this line of restaurants here and just number them off, but truly these are the places where I eat every single time that I am on the mountain or I'm hungry up here. There are some other places up here, but they're personally just not my favorites. So we won't talk about those. Let's get into the next one up on my list. And at number seven on my list, right here behind me is Cafe Diva. Definitely a higher end restaurant, but has amazing cocktails, amazing entrees, and highly, highly encourage any of you guys who are in Steamboat, staying around the base area, to come and check this place out. Another restaurant that isn't located right on Steamboat's base area, but I do wanna add, because it has amazing Thai food, is this little, little restaurant located right under the Grand, and it's called Talay Thai. The food is worth it, and you won't have to wait long, but it's just, you know, it's small, it's different. They get 
pretty busy, but when you can go there, it is well worth it, even if you do have to wait. My recommendation is if you're staying here, you have your own place, that you put in an order ahead of time, go there, pick it up, then go back to your house, eat it at your house, but definitely still tip those guys. They do an amazing job. But with that being such a small space, it's definitely easy for them to get overwhelmed quickly. So definitely be aware of that. Last but certainly not least on my list is an amazing burger place, super close to the mountain, not on the base area, but less than a 10 minute walk over from the base area is a place called Apparate Burger Bistro. This place, absolutely kills it with burgers, fries, anything that you want. I'm a big burger guy, so every single time I come here, I only get a burger. Well guys, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe for more content. Would love to hear your guys' ideas for new videos as well. And always remember, every single day is a gift. Do not waste it. And if you guys are ever in town, you guys wanna meet up, grab a drink, go ski, or you need any help with real estate here in Seamless Springs, Colorado, I'm your guy. Feel free to give me a call and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks, bye.